Good morning, students. I am P. Annapurna, working as an assistant professor in EC department in the Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. And this is Microwave Laboratory. Today, we are going to study about scattering parameters of magic T. In the scattering parameters of magic T, the microwave bin setup we require is the Kleistron power supply, Kleistron power supply, Kleistron mount. Isolator, frequency meter, variable alternator, slotted line section, and diode detector. Along with this, we need magic T. This is called as magic T. The another name for the magic T is EH plane T junction. It consists of four ports as port 1, port 1, port 2, port 3, and port 4. This port 3 is also called as H plane T and port 4 is called as E plane T. As we know that if you have 4 ports, the S matrix consists of 16 parameters. The main aim of this experiment is to measure all the 16 parameters with, the, with respect to the microwave bench setup. To measure all the parameters of magic T, we have to connect this magic T in between slotted line section and detector mount. So, before doing the experiment, we have certain conditions that is in the cluster power supply, we have beam voltage and repeller voltage. The beam voltage should be less than 300 volts and repeller voltage should be varied like that and beam current should be less than 30 milliampere. The mode of operation is AM mode and the mode selection and amplitude knobs will be at mid positions. The frequency meter present here is used to measure the frequency of incoming signal. With the help of variable alternator, we can vary the position and required amount of amplitude can be obtained in a CRO. Now, before doing the experiment, we have to check whether the microwave bin setup is working properly or not. To, set, to, set, to check that one, Connect the diode detector, sorry, connect the detector mount to the CRO with the help of CRO Pro and check whether the stereo pattern is obtained on the CRO or not. If the stereo pattern is obtained in the CRO, that indicates that the bench is working properly. After that, in between the slotted line section and the detector mount, place the magic pin. While placing this magic T in between slotted line section and the detector, diode, detector mount, don't change any connections. Just remove the slotted, remove the detector mount and place magic T in between slotted line section and detector mount. Port 1 of the magic T is connected to slotted line and port 2 of the magic T is connected to detector mode. If you have n number of ports also, we have to take output at only one port and input is obtained in another port. That's why input of magic key, that is port 1 is connected to slot end line section and port 2 is, port two is connected to the detector mode. It has four ports. The two, of, two ports of magic T are connected to input and output, whereas the third port and fourth port, the remaining two ports are connected to the match determination. Like this. So, port one of the port one of the magic T is connected to slot end line. Port two is connected to port two is connected to detector mode. Port three is connected to match termination. Fourth also connected to the match termination because. We require output power in only one port. Place the magic tree as it is and measure the output in VSWR meter. 
output power. Measure the output power. Now we obtain the output power as 29 dB. In the range scale, it indicates the decibel as 20 dB. And here we have scale in decibels as 9 dB. Totally we have 29 dB as the output power. In the next step, replace the magic piece such that port 1 is connected to output and port 2 is connected to the input and 3 and 4 as it is connected to the match termination. Like that, connect all the parameters as it is and measure the power as S21. Similarly, you have to measure all 16 parameters present in the S matrix. Then we obtain the S parameters for the magic key. This is about measuring of S parameters with the help of magic key. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.